Hey, what's going on guys? Doing a little layout change here, moving me to the other side of the screen just so it would be nicer for you guys because you probably saw too many of me so I'm going to try and cover up a little bit of me. I wanted to talk about something that I loved, not just like I loved in this game and you know I talked about how I was overall disappointed with the redo uh, zone with the Hebra Mountains and Tampatha Frontier but Oh my god, was the Grudu Desert one of the most amazing zones in, I would say, Zelda history. Like, it might not have that legendary music that previous Zeldas have had with the Grudu Desert in Ocarina of Time, but it was by far one of the most enjoyable zones just in general, just to explore, just to play in. The town itself was really fun. There was a lot of, like, way more interesting dynamic shops and in my opinion, way more fun interactions with, you know, the secret club and uh, just quest in general. The There was the Grudu Highlands, which was snowy, and then there was the desert, which had various temperature changes during the night. It was very cold during the day. It was very warm, and it just made it really fun in itself as a dynamic to explore. And the, the town itself, with all of its variety and fun mechanics where you have to dress up as a girl to go in, is fun. But... In itself, the zone itself is so much fun to explore. The Divine Beast is really fun to f a fight, and you see it just directly affect uh, affecting the desert itself, creating these sandstorms, which affect your map and how you even explore the area. And also, there's the Yiga Clan and a ton of different bosses. There's just so many fun mechanics that go into the zone in itself that it just makes it so awesome like I just can't even like put the correct words to describe it it's just like easily the best zone in the entire game and I was just you know playing the game I was like man this game is so great I don't know what can top you know after I was just playing the Goron zone or even uh, you know the Zora zone or even you know just the southeastern side of Farron Woods I was like this th how how can they do it and the Guru Desert easily did that not only that transportation is really fun here like horses aren't always that useful I find myself in most areas because it's just easier to teleport to a shrine and then right climb over a mountain and get there and overall it's a lot faster and so I was like oh man there's no real point in uh, really traversing with the horse I actually even though I had a opponent and the royal horse I was never at a point where I needed to really use them but in the desert, you get to ride these seals with your shield. It's like you're sand surfing, literally. And they're really easy to control, actually really fun to control as well. And you get to do fun mini games. And also, it's just, you can go almost anywhere in the desert with them, fighting bosses in the area, finding new areas, finding secrets. And not only that, it's really fun to explore, even in the snowy areas, because there's treasure chests absolutely everywhere. It's kind of a treasure trove. To go through so it's fun to explore even like recheck areas that you've already been just to find out where things are it is easily one of my the probably my favorite zone in the entirety of breath of the wild and in my opinion one of the best zones ever in zelda history let me know what is your favorite zone guys because i i just couldn't believe it was just so much fun playing in this area so let me know like the video if you can subscribe for more of these videos and hopefully We'll talk more about Zelda. Until then, guys, bye.